Hello, MNS Studios here, and today I am bringing you another mock video. Uh, this is actually going to be a mock about, well, really a series of mocks. Um, just little mini builds for your Nanotech Iron Man Mark 50. You could also definitely use these on, on the Mark 85, or you can use them on any Tony Stark for that matter, whichever one you feel uh, wants, needs, or uh, desires some extra armor, so or, or stuff, you know. Some extra features. So yeah, we're just going to be looking individually at each one of these. How they would connect onto Iron Man. As well as uh, where they appeared in the movie a little bit. Uh, in Infinity War. And yeah. So uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. This is going to be a quick look over some of the weapons and devices that he uses. And uh, makes with his nanotech armor. So let's just get right into it. So let me readjust here. So, obviously, we have our Mark 50 Iron Man. Probably one of the cooler versions of Iron Man. That's also pretty easy to get. And uh, pretty dang cheap. So, you can see him right there. Pretty cool fit. So, first thing I want to look at is, of course, the massive booster that he deploys when he's trying to save Peter on the big ring spaceship. So, how do you connect this? Well, pretty easily, you just put it on its feet. And there you go. That gives him a little bit extra length. And he does sit up taller. So, there you go. So, yeah, that'll work pretty well. And I think it does the job. So, um, now you can add, like, an extra gold stud on there if you really want to. I decided not to. I didn't think it was really necessary. But, there you go. Still works out. And... I did put the uh, little stud here with uh, this blue disc kind of piece, piece right here. Just to go trying to show some uh, uh, thrust coming out of it, of course. So, And you can obviously modify that orange very easily. So, but yeah, there is device number one that he uses in pretty much the beginning of the movie. Next device here is when he is actually fighting Thanos with the... Guardians, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Take off summit, take off the head, and you just put it on here. Put it right here, and there you go. So, and now he has his flight stabilizers, fully equipped. And we see these again while he's fighting Thanos, and uh, he's fighting with the Guardians. And, uh, yeah, I think this is actually a way better representation than the actual one we got from LEGO. Uh, not that the LEGO one was bad, but I think it needed to be smaller. So, another thing you can do is you can actually readjust these. So, if you want them to kind of fan out over them, make them look a little more menacing, I guess. You do have that option. Or, you can just put them towards the back, like we see in the movie. So you can obviously, and again, you don't have to build this exact one. You can obviously modify it how you like. But this is personally how I did it. Because it makes it look nice and small. Nice and compact. And a little more accurate in my opinion. And again, you can also add gold every which way. It doesn't exactly matter how I did it. I did not add gold on these. But again, that's something I might do in the future with this guy. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to take this guy part again and there so you got the little flight stabilizers that he uses the next weapon is actually a weapon he uses to fight against the guardians of the galaxy um when he's actually threatening to shoot drax and drax is like ah it's okay i can take it and then he's like no he can't so yeah this is basically that weapon and again you can modify this putting like some st extra studs and stuff in these parts right here and the top parts would not hurt at all and would help. You can also uh, take these versions off the or these uh, these curved versions without the stickers, and you can actually swap those out with some stickered versions. So, if you do not want to use some extra ones that you have, or using those for something else, you can very easily take these ones that came in the set that this figure came in, which is the uh, Thanos Ultimate Battle Set with the Bendithar. And you can very well do something like that if you will if you uh, wish and if you desire 
So uh, I I chose the smaller ones because it's already a pretty big. Uh, it was already pretty big and pretty oversized than what we see in the actual movie. So and again, I did put some gold here and there just to show uh, that this is a red and gold suit because of course it is. But it was a front view. And another option, other than just having it in his hand or using one of these clear uh, handed pieces that came, were introduced in 2016, you can also uh, plug this into his hand right here and have it something like that, kind of like a shield looking thing or something like that. So you do have some options with this however you want to do it. And there you go. So there's weapon two. Next two weapons are also ones we use, uh, he uses against Thanos to knock him off balance a little bit. And then these, these little, like, pounder things in, uh, the, the, these pounder things that pound Thanos in and knock him off balance. You could also, like, you know, argue that these could be, like, extra boosters or something like that. Again, this is my take on it, not, not anybody else's, so... But yeah, you can also twist these if you really want to. But again, mainly this would be knocking down Thanos. And because I have him here, um, I have Thanos here. So you can uh, have him knocking down Thanos and knocking him off balance. So just because I had Thanos there. So, um, But yeah, that's one option you do have. Another one. Is doing something like that, and there's quite a bit of gold. I actually use these ringed um, pieces here that just go right around the studs. Uh, you use these on like technique pieces and stuff. Um, and yeah, th that's just I just found a good way to use them there. Um, so yeah, but yeah, uh, there's another option for you if you want to make something like that. Again, very easily, and you don't even need two. You can also use one if you really want. You do not need to use two because he does use two different variants. Next one is like a shield looking piece that uh, I got in like, I think it's like a small creator or set or something like that. Small extra set or something. And you can use that as like a shield. Um, something like that. Just, you know, like the shield that he uses against Thanos. It deactivates a ton of these nanobots and basically makes them lose against Thanos. And you can also, uh, if you really want to, combine the shield and the big blaster here because it does look pretty cool and look, it does look pretty good like that so if you really want to get a look like that you can do that so there you go I'm just giving out some options here and then the last few pieces are really just pieces that like you can just use for extra things like blades stuff like that so use like a, a giant blade for Thanos or some extra flapping things or whatever I don't really know but basically it's just some extra things that you can you can do with them so um, but yeah that's one nice thing about this guy is you can really make whatever you want whatever comes to your mind you can make with this guy and uh, y y it really won't be wrong by any means so uh, but yeah there you go something like that but yeah, those are just some of the nanotech weapons that you can make with the Iron Man uh, Infinity War or, or even the Endgame version of him. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just going over some of the things that I have built with this guy. Uh, you can use these pieces for stop motions and, and build something similar to this. I've seen a ton of those. They look pretty cool. You can use these for all sorts of things. Mocks, uh, if you're trying to do a like specific scene from a, sp from a specific part of um, Infinity War, you can do that, so, that's pretty much all I'm going to say in this video, thanks for watching, uh, I really hope that you guys go watch, uh, go ahead and watch some of the other videos that I have posted, this guy is the Iron Patriot mock that I have, and then this is a Spider-Man, uh, a Spider-Mobile mock that I have out there, uh, or will be out anyway, sometime soon, in the next few, uh, few, uh, days, I'm assuming, I'll probably get that done, but, yeah, be sure to go check that out, there's a rocket up there, but yeah, be sure to go check these two videos out uh, once that one's up. This one is up right now, so be sure to go check those out. That really helps out the channel grow and uh, become big like uh, I hope it does. So that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.